They got him. Former World Series champion with the Astros. Puerto Rico native. Christian Vasquez. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not Carlos Correa. Uh, by the way, this won't impact their pursuit of Correa negatively. We'll get to that in a second. Get that out of your mind. Uh, but the Twins have signed Christian Vasquez, catcher, to a three-year, $30 million deal to solidify the catching position. Um, I like this deal, and I think it's interesting for some reasons. Um, you know, if you've watched some of my content this offseason, you know, Wilson Contreras was a name that I really wished they would pursue, and they didn't. Kind of bummed me out. So I really viewed catcher as a position that the Twins both needed to find a solution for and should have been open to a multi-year deal for a guy because... You know, no matter what you think about Ryan Jeffers, there's really nothing behind Jeffers coming through the pipeline that really feels like a, like a, a tangible thing that we can say, well, this guy is going to be a major leaguer. There's some guys that definitely have a shot, um, but there's nobody there that there's not like a Ryan Jeffers in the in the pipeline right now. I'm relieved. I guess was the best way I could put this. And, you know, Christian Vasquez isn't some kind of a superstar addition that's going to, you know, the Twins aren't going to be flooded with a bunch of season ticket calls or uh, selling custom Vasquez jerseys on, on their MLB shop or anything. He's not that type of a guy, but I think he is a great addition to this team. And what I find a little bit interesting about this um, is if, again, another thing, if you've been watching my channel over the last like year and a half, really, my, I've been hammering home that this front office is focusing on value, 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 value. Sometimes it looks like they're selling. Sometimes it looks like they're buying. If you break it all down, they are just focused on getting the most value out of everything. This deal, I'm not saying it's a bad contract, three years, $30 million. That feels like the going rate these days for a guy like this, especially since everybody's going for more than what's expected this offseason. But this doesn't feel like a value deal. And I think um, I appreciate the front office kind of getting out of that mindset for addressing this need because, again, I do think this was a very big need. And they talked about it all offseason as, as if it was. So it's kind of good to see them back that up um, and not kind of try to patch this and, and see if they can make it work. Um, this really, again, I just feel like they have solidified catching. You know, with I think Vasquez is now going to be the 1A with Jeffers probably as the 1B, but who knows? I expect the Twins to be uh, very active on the trade market, um, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that Jeffers sticks around. I would say that about basically anyone on the Twins. By the way, not really picking on Jeffers. So if you're kind of trying to wrap your head around what kind of an addition this is, very solid MLB catcher, uh, does some positive things on both sides of the ball, hits well for a catcher. For a catcher, Christian Vasquez hits well, not for league wide. Doesn't hit well. Um, d good defensive catcher. Uh, but not going to really, like, elevate you into the top five. You know, not a superstar player. Um, but there is a Carlos Correa connection here beyond the fact that he's a former Astro. They weren't teammates together. Vasquez was just traded to the Astros at the deadline this year. Um, they are also not only both from Puerto Rico, but both, both went to the Puerto Rican Baseball Academy. Not sure if they crossed paths there. Not really sure if there's a per personal connection between those two, but, you know, that uh, that can't hurt. And any anytime, any, anybody you're signing and making your team better, that's going to make you a little bit more attractive. You know, it's not going to make or break anything, but it's going to make you appear to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more of an attractive destination, perhaps. And I think certainly you can make that case on the pitching side. Um, if you're a free agent starting pitcher, you know, and you were kind of thinking about the Twins as a destination, you're like, wow, well, you know, what's their catching situation is going to be like? You know, this Jeffers guy, you know, seems like he's all right, but he hasn't really established himself yet. What else are they doing here? Now all of a sudden you have Christian Vasquez, who's a very well-known entity, guy who's won two World Series now. Um, you know, so he's he's guided a lot of veteran staffs through a lot of success. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of guys that have pitched to him. You know, Nathan Evaldi who might be the most realistic Twins target left. I don't know. It, you know, it depends on, you know, what happens with Carlos Correa and what happens with Carlos Rodon and all that stuff. Um, but either way, you've added a very uh, known entity behind the plate. I think, you know, that's not going to that's not gonna make, <laughs> make free agents fall over themselves to come play for the Twins because they have Christian Vasquez. Um, I'm not saying that, but I think it may be kind of help put them over the top if somebody was on the fence um, now that they have him. So I like the move. 
again, it, it's not it, nobody's nobody's calling up the ticket office and signing up for uh, season tickets on this one. But I think the Twins got better today, and I think it's a good first move. Relieved that they have this position addressed. Relieved that they're on the board here in free agency. That they have signed a free agent. Uh, excited to see what's next because I think we're we are in for a lot more activity uh, this off season. I think the Twins are once again going to be one of the more active teams across baseball in the trade market. Uh, so we shall see. Thanks for checking this out. Thank you so much to all the channel members. Here are the premium members listed here. We will talk again soon.